Greetings. This is a significant planetary alignment and earthquake watch. From the time periods of February 28 through March 4, 2016, we have four very powerful planetary alignments taking place on February 28 and 29, three of them heliocentric and one geocentric. Now I do feel that there is a potential for an 8 magnitude earthquake or greater and if ocean based a possible tsunami could be registered as well. We're now looking at the February and March ephemeris where we have significant planetary alignments taking place and planetary geometry will be important during this time frame. Colour coded in blue, Earth will oppose Neptune. The influence will begin on February 28 and 29. We also have the significant alignment between Mars, Sun and Uranus. That's colour coded in orange. The influence from February 27 through 29 will be important. And the alignment between Mercury, Venus and Sun will take place and its influence will begin on February 29 into early March. As mentioned, the planetary geometry is significant during this watch beginning on February 28. We have the important alignments taking place opposing the Sun which will kick off solar activity. But we also have the important aspect and position of Saturn which will be at 90 degrees from both Earth and Neptune during their opposition. Also worth noting that Jupiter and Uranus will be at 150 degrees of separation or a yacht aspect astrologically speaking which will ensure high volatility during this watch period. I do feel that this is the platform for a significant to major earthquake registered over 8 magnitude from February 28 through March 4, 2016. The first important planetary alignment is geocentric or involving the Earth, that is between Earth, Sun and Neptune taking place late on February 28 or 1954 UTC. The following day the first of three heliocentric alignments take place and we have Mercury moving in between both Venus and Sun to form a very powerful alignment and this also has been associated with strong earthquakes in the recent past. The second heliocentric planetary alignment involves Mars, Sun and Uranus and this takes place just 28 hours after the geocentric alignment and also extremely important as this also has been associated with strong earthquakes in the past as well. And the third heliocentric planetary alignment is the most powerful as it involves Jupiter, Venus and Neptune, a very slow moving alignment and extremely potent. Jupiter, Venus and Neptune have connected two times over the last six years and on both of these occasions coincided with major earthquakes registering over 8 magnitude. A magnitude 8.3 earthquake struck offshore Coquimbo in Chile on September 16, 2015. This was four days after the alignment between Jupiter, Venus and Neptune. And September 29, 2009, a magnitude 8.1 earthquake struck the Samoa Islands region. This time was four days before the alignment between Venus, Jupiter and Neptune. We're now looking at the important lunar influences that will be in play during this watch. We have the important lunar declination which will take place on the 3rd of March and also the lunar apogee which takes place just one day prior to this watch on February 27. Now these are important signatures and the direct overhead or longitudinal position of the moon will play a role in the potential areas that may be affected during this watch. Looking at the exact overhead or longitudinal position at the time of the lunar declination reveals an ominous signature over the west coast of North America. Now, this is a concern as it may be a foreshadowing for a significant event for Northern California, possibly the Hayward Fault, or further north into Vancouver Islands or Queen Charlotte Islands for this significant event. Now looking at the moon's position at the time of lunar apogee, and we do see a strong Atlantic Ocean profile at high latitudes. Areas of focus will be south of Africa, Bouvet Islands and South Sandwich Islands. And also further north, areas of focus will be Iceland, the Norwegian Sea and possibly into Europe or the Mediterranean. Now going to attempt to plot some areas on the globe that could be at risk for this significant earthquake. And the main area of focus will be northern and southern Sumatra or perhaps the Mentawi Gap in Indonesia. These will be the main areas of concern for a significant earthquake and possible tsunami from February 28 through March 4, 2016. The second area of concern for this potential major earthquake will be the western and eastern periphery of the Pacific Ocean. Areas of focus will be the Kuril Islands, Hokkaido, Japan, southeastern Alaska, Queen Charlotte Islands or Vancouver Island for this significant event. Now if this event is an intraplate earthquake away from the Ring of Fire, the main area of concern will be the North Anatolian Fault or Western Turkey. There is a notable east to west migration of significant earthquakes across Turkey and a North Anatolian fault and the concern is that the next major earthquake could occur in Istanbul. Now this is a major concern as Istanbul has a very large population and any event here of significant magnitude would be catastrophic. 
And that concludes this important planetary alignment and earthquake watch for February 28 through March 4, 2016. For more information, please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers, as well as a website newsletter. Now we'll be producing the February and March newsletters over the next week. It's definitely worth watching and keeping close note of. Annotations and results of this watch will be added at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.